Well, well, well. Look what has decided to show up. If it isn't Prof's memory, we might do something now. One of these fishies, it's gonna be your lucky day. Yeah, opponent's an absolutely in shock right now because there's fish against them. Look at them thrive. Wow. Wow. Okay, fishies, get it. What's up and welcome everybody to a new Murders at Carl of Manor standard video and in this video we are playing Hearthstone. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, no, no, we're uh, we're playing Blue White Proft, but I'm calling it Hearthstone because I got some inspiration or from somebody in the chat. I was like, Ash, make a brew with exotic pets. And I was like, okay, exotic pets, I can do that. So exotic pets is a three mana instant that creates two 1-1 one -one blue fish creature tokens and the fish tokens cannot be blocked and they get a counter um, among creatures you control put one of those counters on the fishies so i was like okay sure i can do that so then i ended up shoving in a search engine and I ended up shoving in a cryptic code so we have a little bit of an unblockable strategy going on here and then i was thinking all right so how can i grow these unblockable creatures and i landed on one of my pet cards recently prof's Aetic memory a two mana enchantment with that enters the battlefield, you draw a card, you have no maximum hand size. At the beginning of combat on your turn, if you've drawn more than one card this turn, put X1 counters on target creature you control, where X is the number of cards you've drawn this turn, minus one. So I felt like Proft was basically the perfect card to make these unblockable creatures into uh, incredibly scary threats that you have to remove or you're going to lose to them. So for a little bit more unblockable synergy, I'm also playing Ginger Brute because it wouldn't be a deck of mine if I didn't just find a way to shove a cookie in it. Um, but outside of that, one of the greatest things about playing this deck in Izzet or is it Zoria Scholars is that we get Faithful Mending, a two mana instant. You gain two life, draw two cards and then discard two cards. And the greatest thing about this thing is that it also has flashback. Now, what I forgot to mention is obviously with the Prophet's memory, we want to make sure that we draw our cards before combat. So something like Faithful Mending is really clutch because we can just fire that off before combat and then we get two counters because of it. But to go back to the flashback. So in this deck, I'm also playing Ledger Shredder and Steam Core Scholar because both cards have that synergy of being able to draw cards before going to combat. So Ledger Shredder does that through conniving and Steam Core Scholar, when it enters the battlefield, you draw two cards and then you discard two cards unless you discard an instant or sorcery card or a creature card with flying. So the greatest thing about being able to play Faithful Mending is that it also makes a fantastic discard target to either Ledger Shredder or Steam Core Scholar because you can just flash it back anyways if you need to. And that has felt really strong in this deck. Um, we're also playing some Ingenious Prodigies because that card just works really nicely with the prof's memory it basically just is a is a loop where you know prof's memory gives the prodigy a counter the counter the prodigy takes a counter off to draw a card and because you draw a card you trigger prof again so that's felt really nice too we're playing some considers as well because consider is basically the ultimate card to cheaply draw a card so cheaply give a one one counter in memory but the surveil on the consider is also nice because it allows you to uh to dig for the memory if you need to what I like about this deck is that it very much feels like I can still win despite not drawing Prof. And all the previous versions of the Prof deck, I felt like the deck was incredible the second you found it, but it felt below average once you didn't. And I feel like this deck, at least with the unblockable strategies and you can buff up your surge engines, you can buff up your, your creatures in other ways, felt like it was a bit stronger. So I really like that. Um, another upside of, you know, playing white is that you have access to really good sideboard cards too. Like I'm playing some good sales flankers, which has been uh, incredible against all like the teamer decks. Or even if we get board wiped, we can flash in good sales flanker and just give it a bunch of 1-1 counters as well. We play some knockout blows, which is great against all the aggro decks, which I really like. And blue gives us access to the whole spell pierce a package, which can help us out against the temporary lockdown players or the control players or the... Um, the teamer control players so the deck honestly has felt pretty good i haven't really played that many games with it but it was a joy to play for sure i really liked it i'm not sure if it's the best prof deck out there 
I need to be, play a little bit more games to it, like to actually figure it out. But I'm tempted to say yes. <laughs> but the Demir deck also is really good, of course, because the Demir deck gives you um, a lot more strong removal. But I would say do not underestimate this deck. Um, but you can judge for yourself because we're going to get into some gameplay. But before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps the channel out. And because if you subscribe, you don't miss out on any of my other brews, especially with Thunder Junction around the corner. You don't want to miss those because I got some spicy ideas in mind for some uh, really cool standard decks. Yeah, if you subscribe, thank you. And it's time to get into some gameplay right now. Thank you for watching. This video is brought to you by Ultimate Guard. Ultimate Guard provides you with premium protection for your trading cards like their incredible Katana sleeves, which are my absolute favorite for saving up my magic decks. Ultimate Guard has everything you need to keep your magic cards safe, secure, and stylish. If you're interested in getting the best sleeves on the market, make sure to use my link in the description below. But it does have props memory, but on the draw, like if this was an untapped land, I would have probably considered. Mm, all right. Yeah, I mean, we're like pretty high, like it's the start of the season, so, you know. start of the season or whatever new jeans got the bangers <laughs> okay Consider. It's not bad, but it's better if I have a prof, though. Mm, I think I have to look for prof, really. All right, there's lands here now. Sure, shutter. Two dogs in your complex. They don't shut up. All right, sure. New data cut down, so I just wanted to like bait one of the shredders instead of my surge engine. Is it exotic pets? Oh shit! It's instant though, so we're good. We're gonna wait. Yeah. Hmm. Well, 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 look what has decided to show up. If it isn't Prof's memory, we might do something now. Let's see. Hook champ, I hope. One of these fishies, it's going to be your lucky day. Mm, I'll get rid of Anchorage. Yeah, opponent's an absolutely in shock right now because there's fish against them. Look at them thrive. Wow. Wow. Can't wait to be board wiped. Look at these chickens. Yeah, they're beautiful. Gift of thanks? Huh? Bruh, wait, what? Wait, what are they cooking up? A chef? Vampire spice? I'm excited now. We've been out chef, yeah. Oh my god, wait, what a legend. They're playing an Angie. They're actually playing vampires. Whoa. I thought they were just playing some like Rectal's Ramp board wipe deck, but they're actually chefing it up hard. I respect that so much, dude. All right, I'm gonna create a big fish.
Mm. I think I do need to get rid of Angie, though. I mean, I don't have to do it now. I can technically wait, right? Okay, fishies, get it. We'll wait. <laughs> see what they do i obviously don't want to give them like the the blood tokens and stuff ng value but at the moment we're just lethal next turn so we'll see roaming throne yeah i'm just gonna remove this now did you do playing roaming throne to get like double the ng value that's very gas i respect it but yeah why is my head hurt literally only drank fucking well I don't know how that works. If, like, I did kind of... Nah, there's no way. I don't think this thing had, like, three espresso shots in it, but maybe. <laughs> I don't know how that works, actually. Nah, I can all be an espresso shot like that. Nah, nah, it doesn't work that way. I had to use, like, three different pods because they just, like, didn't want to, like, come out properly, but... One glass of water all day and fires asleep, so I feel like shit. That's me, though. And the machine didn't work, so I had to like keep using new ones. Then sit for longer than an hour without getting up. Mm, I've never followed that rule a day in my life. I'm, I'm a gamer. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a gamer. Like we don't we don't stand up. Period. In general. Okay. I'm just gonna pass the turn, set up a good turn. Vampire Vengeance? Never heard of it. Not a day in my life. Oh yeah, I've heard of that. It's like especially bad when you could be like flying and stuff. Something to always be careful of. Your instant speed, right? Okay. Pass the turn, I guess. Mm, let's see what they do. Okay. Girl dinner. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I'll be all right. But it's like... It's a little... Uh, Mm, I don't think I need Prodigy. I don't think I need Get Lost at this point in time. Probably just gonna like put them on the, a pretty good clock here and just do like Surge Engine. We win the next turn, maybe. I'll be right. Cra collapses, yeah. <laughs> Basically. All right, sweet. I fucking knew they had it though, but they they must have just drawn into it like because just now, yeah. All right, well that was kind of a non-game, but you know, um, looks fine. Two time longer than an average combo game, yeah. Seriously. Ledger Shredder. This is the uh the World Soul Rage. Okay. World Soul Rage. Hmm. 
Mm. I mean, we see the old time explosion over there. The rage decks are a little a little boring for sure, in my opinion. I liked them at first when they were like new and like, you know, special, but then it's like eh. Go off a little bit, you know. <laughs> I like that we can like discard faithful mending to the Steam Core Scholar. That's pretty neat. Like, this would get me a Ledger Shredder trigger. We really need our counter spells for this matchup, I think, so... Or Prof, you know, to grow things out of range of the old time explosion. We didn't find that either. So that sucks a little bit. But we'll get our, we'll get our counter spells after sideboarding, so that's good. Mm. Yeah. It's just it's just not really where you want to be at, you know. Like am I actually just going to like go crazy go stupid with exotic pets maybe teamer control yeah mm. you convince cool to make a rebirth has a deck just don't know what it is oh that's like the celestia reanimator spell isn't it that's a cool one Okay. Sure, I'll play some fishies, I guess. I guess these fishies are just gonna have to like carry me or something. I'll like bounce, go and play it out, I think. I'm glad that they put Dwayne in the store though. Like at least people that like didn't really want to spend a lot of money on cosmetics have a cool pet now. Like Dwayne only costs like a thousand gold or something, right? I'm happy for those people. A cheap pet that's cute. Like, I'm happy for him. I like Dwayne. Yeah, I think it's because we're like a European stream. There's like weird. There's something weird going on with Twitch's servers. I should actually look into this by now. Um. Twitch support, maybe? See if they say anything. Mm. Not seeing anything. Hey, is it finally Proof's memory? Holy shit. Let's game. Alright, hold on now. So that's plus two.
guys that was finally a fucking turn let's go i mean i don't know if it will be enough but it was good i really like that we can play faithful mending like the flashback could be super relevant i think it's unrelated i think it's something with european servers but i don't hear twitch talking about it i can look further twitch error when in doubt search on twitter um Hmm. Nah, I've seen people talk about this. Oh, are they actually gonna discard something with six value? Oh shit, they are. Hmm. You don't have green though. Hee <laughs> hee. Damn, that got so close to winning me the game, dude. <laughs> so close. Damn. Space eaters are coming because of COT po poisoning. Are you I, I don't have my space eater on right now. It's super warm here, but I don't have it on. <laughs> I don't know. Let me see if I can put my window open, maybe. I don't think it's on. Sure. Nah, it's not honest. I think it was a joke. Like, you don't even really hear that thing anyway. Does apply to electric and mine is electric i don't know um could i win the game like this i don't know yeah it's not on <laughs> sure I just gotta hope they don't remove this. Really? Give me that sweet card draw. I don't know, like, they're gonna bring back a lot of lands. I'm just hoping that I swing for enough here. Oh yeah, today's definitely a better day. Definitely. Okay, I, I don't even know. Like, you go ahead now. I don't, either you're alive or you're dead. I How many is this? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Like, 10? Oh, that would suck. No, stop. Don't gain more life, nor... I might just be dead here. You might just have me. We survived for a while. <sighs> I guess. It's so boring, like, it's true. I was a fan at first. I learned the hard way I shouldn't have been. I've gained life too, though. Ugh, sick and twisted. Sick and twisted. <laughs> Shame. They hit us with the QQ, yeah. 
Hmm. I got my hearses. I got my strokes, my pierces, and the gate. Great. I feel like pierces aren't the best against them, to be honest. Pats is a little bit too slow, I think. All right. <laughs> All right. Fuck it. No creatures, no problem. I got two hearses. Eat shit. Shut up. I ball for sure. Let's control Z and do it. Does it? Maybe. Hmm. Start off a treader though. Yeah. We should get him. They do have a braids, but starting to exile early is pretty good. Hey, yo, that's prof's memory though. Um I will probably get rid of the hearse here. Got rid of the land. Hmm. Nah. Get our exile on. All right, countered. Sure. I need some counter spells of my own. Let's grab it. Snitch. All right. This is um one too many lands for me. Short. <laughs> nah, I'm cool with getting rid of these lands. At least I got the negate up, but this is like blood. Like, yeah, I'll deny it. Sure, if you care that much. I mean, not that the hearse is doing like an insane amount of work or anything right now, but it's also going to be a good attacker for me, so I value it for that reason as well. Siren, yeah, Siren goes hard. There I go. Hmm. I'm gonna put him on the clock, I guess. Ivy cam. There used to be an Ivy cam, but because I'm now like I'm not living in the UK anymore, it's tricky. Like I'm usually there just for a couple days. Okay.
my partner. <laughs> Ivy, uh, Ivy is, is fun. <laughs> okay. The roommates. Mm. She's a, yeah, she's a big girl. She doesn't need anybody. Okay. Sad Victorian child. <laughs> she's a very sad Victorian child, yeah. Poor Ivy. Okay. Buy some that. Brothers end to try and get rid of my, like, purse is not bad, though. Okay. Mm, I'm not sure what I'm looking for here. Coat's all right, though. <laughs> Explore. All right. Well, I guess I'm at a point right now where I can like just swing with two anchorages. <laughs> Jesus, a little bit of flood, tiny bit, not too much. How many sad Victorian children do you think you'd be in a fight? <laughs> They're probably like strong as fuck, Loki. Like they had to work in the factories and stuff. Like. How old are they? Like, they're, they're probably strong. All right. Well, at least we got this one. We go again. Okay. You honestly don't know how teamer players win a little ladder when they crumble to any graveyard hate. Uh, just hoping to find people that don't hit it. Like, I don't have any graveyard hate right now. I just have to, like, draw into it. So I'm, like, a little vulnerable. But I mean, I have the prof's memory, so I'm hoping to just thrive. I'd be swinging my arms windmill style. <laughs> Valid. Also, they got their braids and stuff for like hate. Mm. I guess moderate. I'm not. I'm not sure. They get a lot of life gain from the lands, right? So that probably like saves them by some turns and stuff. Yeah, like I I hate to say it, but I got to get rid of that shit before they like pop it. Like that's really bad. If they get the pop, we're in trouble. Um, do I play something out here? I play into explosion. Nah, probably not. I'll wait a turn. A chicken nugget. <laughs> a chicken nugget. All right, fine. A nuggy would go hard right now. Would cure me. Damn, I should have played my gonjot out first. I'm like, what's the use? Shit. Ah, so it'll be alright. We'll get that value eventually. We're now just going to create the world's biggest ginger brute. Oh, man, I wish I had it hers, though. I do. That graveyard is so thick. 
you know what? The opponent's kind of like evil for playing these pixel lands because I have no clue whether or not like this they're playing islands or forests. Like they look the exact <laughs> they look the exact fucking same. Like it's all blue. Second shot, thank you for the prime. Like if I couldn't read if it said island or forest, I wouldn't know if they had islands or forests. Six strategies. Got you mythic? Hey, happy to help. Zeno, thank you for the 11. All right, let me see what's up here. Um, yeah, sure, I guess. Uh, hype train, chook chook. Close, I guess, close. Okay, well, there's the hers. But it might be too late already. I don't know. Depending on what they have. Pogging for the release of the Fallout show. I'm fucking seated. Like, I think it looks so good. I'm excited. Hey, crazy. Thank you so much for the gifty. I appreciate you. And you start the hype train. Thank you. Yeah. Later, the, the later the game goes, the more like you need like the explosive stuff. You're right. I'll still try. Nissa, shit. Mm. I'm I'm screwed. Like I can't remove Nissa. Like I'm fucked, right? Nissa is just gonna like guarantee them aftermath analyst most like. Well, I guess we have an over have an opportunity for them to fail. Yo, Teddy, thanks for the prime. I, I think there, I guess there is technically an opportunity for them to fail for sure. Mm, I'm just gonna get rid of the deluge already, I guess. Like if Nissa finds some Nissa, we could be okay. I don't know. Oh, they just have Aftermath Analyst already, huh? Sure. It's probably too late. I wish I had my counter spells. Like, we still have one negate and... Where's the other shit at? Two strokes somewhere? Yeah. <laughs> it's a shame. Holy shit, nine Nissa triggers. Light work. I'm just gonna have to sit through. I just, just wanna like tap out. Or is that not gonna work? Is it still gonna be unlicensed first? That can get crude. Okay, whatever. <sighs> With all that mana, we're probably screwed. Like, we just needed either like counter spells or removal or um, graveyard hate earlier. Unfortunately. Yeah, I'll be a uh, good riddance, like. Good riddance. Oh my god, I just keep going. Nah, I think we're GG's. I like, I realize this is just game over. We're never gonna win that. See, like this, like this, this bestie like queued into me, which is unfortunate. However, they closed the stream before seeing my opening hand and stuff and they announced it. Like, I respect that. Like, ideally, I don't queue in anybody that watches it, but like this bestie has been like very respectful, and, like nice about it. So like, that's all good. Okay. janky stuff they said what is this cookies <laughs> no no they call cookies jank i'd be offended um yeah let's get the prof memory set up i'm gonna give them a hello a hot little heart 
Ayo, champion of the perished? Wait, is this... Nah, what is that thing called? The, um... The captain? Like, that's kind of like the only thing that I can think of right now. Uh, what's it called, you guys? The one that you need to have, like, four things in the graveyard for or something, or, like, five? <laughs> of, like, a zombie, a pirate, like, what is it? Somebody has to know. Grim Captain, yeah. Is that maybe what we're looking at? Like, there's a lot of surveilling. Soul type colors. self meal. It's definitely Grim Captain. I'm getting vibes. Or just, like... Four color zombies, I guess. No, nah, it's zombies. It's zombies. Okay, that's definitely cool, though. That That's definitely cool. Yeah, it's literally just zombies. Mmm... Just thinking, like, do I, do I need the little ginger brutes? Probably not. I mean, I could play one out and just chomp with it, I guess. I don't know if I need the pets. I'll get rid of the pets, too. I'll play a ginger. Yeah, it might literally just be zombies. I tried to make the Grim Captain work at one point. But I felt the Grim Captain was one of those cards that only, like, best of one YouTubers could make work. And then they cut, like, all, like, ten losses out and only, like, the two wins that they have they keep in the video. That's kind of how that deck felt when I tried it, like... And I mean that with all respect, as somebody that's on YouTube as well. That's really just what it felt like. Like, there's no way in, he like, hell that you could play Grim <laughs> Captain to success, yeah. The Mega Cut, basically. It's really what it felt like. Respectfully. Um, I just, I don't know. I think I just win here, probably, right? Mmm, sure. These besties are growing. I don't want, like, BM. Uh, oh, this one is cute. I've actually never used that. I like it, though. Oh, yeah, I forgot that I bought that. <laughs> Fucking robbed playing like dead paying like 10 euros for dog meat and then like the week after in the store they bring tiny bones in. There goes my fucking money. Or however much uh dog meat was. They should have told me. They should have told me that tiny bones was on the way. I would have never bought dog meat. Scammed, yeah. Classic. Classic. I guess I could see myself play some hags. Like, there are some scar scary cards in here. They go wide. Mm. But if we're playing solitaire versus solitaire, we are really good at the solitaire game, so... I don't know. Mm. This hand isn't incredible. It's not horrible, but it's not great. Um, We can at some point, like, discard Fateful Mending to Ledger Shredder, which could be cool. I might try it. Have I seen a Twitch ad for OTJ? No, I haven't. Is it good? I, I like, don't have a... I rarely, rarely watch, like, Twitch ads. Most, like, streamers that I watch, I just be subscribed to. You know, you can do the same. Wink, wink. Roll about Maverick. It's got tiny bones and other characters. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. Fell Stinger. Okay, I respect that so much. Fell Stinger is a good card, and OTJ actually has, like, a new Fell Stinger. It literally reads the exact same. It just has a different name to it. Mm. Maybe I'll do Scholar here. I kind of got to look for profs. We can discard Faithful Mending to uh, Steam Core as well, which is pretty neat. Okay.
Oh, Insidious Roots too? Oh shit. Gas or whatever? Okay. No, I'm thinking, can I get away with removing roots before they get a plant? Maybe. Possibly. So I'm going to do beach, then I'm going to play shredder, and then I'm going to do get lost on roots out of respect. Insidious Zombies. I mean, definitely is a sick name for sure. Uh, I think one coat's probably all right. Okay. It's just two ledger shredders and a dream, my friends, and a dream. Is anybody uh, that's watching the stream right now playing the Timeless Mata Game Challenge? Oh shit, they have another Roots. Okay. Are you having fun? I'll probably like try a little bit more of more like Mata Game Challenge on um, uh, like Sunday maybe. I sleep. Like I really do sleep. Like I I can't help it. I sleep as well. The Timeless a little bit. All right, listen up, Bessie. I need you to give me a proof memory right now. Bessie, that's not a proof memory. Scam. I guess I'll set up Surge Engine then. I don't think I need a Ginger Brew, and I definitely don't need the Mending. At least we're growing these Shredders. Surge Engine can go face for like five damage next turn too, so Quick Meth says that's lethal. Yes. Then again, it can gain life, I think. And have the wild cards for it. Ripped it at the rest uh, nest rower uh, opponent. You know. Oh shit! Duality. What is that even? In field, turn your control, create a token. It's cool. Be that creature. Oh, I'll get rid of that. So then they get like two fell stingers. That's kind of gas. I respect a lot what they're doing. I just don't know if what I, I'm gonna ask them like if what insidious roots synergizes within zombies because it could be gas. All right, we got him. Trying to get the tokens to explode. The five games it works, it works well. The twenty-eight games it doesn't work. It looks, it works like shit. <laughs> yeah, that's the life of a brewer. I, uh, you know, somebody that tries to cook it up. Never give up, though. You saw it with like the the Obnixless deck earlier. Like yesterday, we couldn't get a win, and today, like, I mean, we drew like garbage, and then today you draw like you know average to good, and it's like. You go like eight and one or something. Yo, walk at Yeehaw. Thank you for the six. Appreciate you. Never back down. Never give up. Cowboy Kirby. I'm working on a bunch of emotes. So, um. And they'll be like animated. Oh, the Prof Mirror? As a treat? We're on the. Um, we're on the draw, but we do have an attacker already. So that's neat. Yeah. Hey, yo, but they're playing the mono blue. Wait, this person might be from the chat. I recall yesterday seeing somebody that was like, yeah, I'm playing mono blue prof. With them, that would be fog. Oh, I don't know how to go about this, though. Nah, don't worry. I wonder if it's them. It could be. I want. I, I. I. You know what? I'm just gonna make Ginger Root an equal threat. Let's go. We're off to the races. Uh, do I want to get rid of a Get Lost? Kind of no. I'll do a. I'll do this. All right. Oh, 
Oh shit. I was gonna say, like, this is it. That's it for my car draw, but. Eyes out if bargained. To me, sacrifice an artifact enchantment or token. Interesting. I'm gonna remove that little guy. Well, big guy, I don't know. So they are playing a bunch of counter spells, aren't they? It's like double ice out. Do I just remove this guy? I mean, hell yeah, I will. I'm just gonna go face. Like, if you're playing that many counter spells, I'm gonna not risk that, I think. Like, this is where our unblockable strategy is gonna be great, I think. Hey, yo! <laughs> Whoa! Hey, yo, hey, yo, Zoetic Live? Yes. Uh, do I win here? Maybe? Oh, shit. There's just something fun about correctly guessing what the opponent could be playing despite not knowing exactly what they are. Like, something about that just feels very, I don't know, like, validating. You know, like, yesterday when we were playing against that, like, Rakdos, uh... The Rakdos... Disguise deck? And we were like, oh shit, they'll probably Monstrous Rage this. You don't know if they will, but, like, it would make sense for them to play it, and then they did it, and it was like, wow, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right, that's right. The knowledge of the game. It's rewarding. Yeah. Putting the, putting the puzzle pieces together is just nice. Oh shit, I think I have the prof here. I think this is going to be a classic case of uh, being on the draw. And not being in a good spot. Bar chef, bar detective, right? We're still in the murders era anyway. My god, that is some aggression that the opponent puts down. Holy shit, dude. Ah, go crazy. Mm, probably pets, I guess. Shit, so what a cliff. MJ could use a rematch feature. That would actually be really cool. That you can, like, ask your opponent if they want a rematch and they could decline. Maybe eventually it could get a little frustrating, I guess, but I think that could be a really cool feature. Probably. Ooh, I'm, I'm like convinced they'll probably have some counter spells. Probably. Yeah, if you do it for ranked, it would probably get a little bit weird because you could just try to like queue into a friend and it could give you all the free wins. But unranked could be... That could be pretty cool. It would definitely have to be unranked or like something for brawl or, you know. Because I, I can definitely also see it get completely out of hand. If it's like ranked, it could probably be people like farming there, exploiting it. Yeah, I do want to put that on top. Shit, I'm gonna have to remove this wedding glyph. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh, now you see why they're playing uh, mono blue prof, by the way. Flow of knowledge, holy fuck. Fortunately, whatever they're targeting, I can hit it with get lost, but that was scary as shit. Wow. Nah, I gotta go greed. I can probably chump the glyph for a bit with um, ginger brutes, I hope. Mm, yeah, that seems fine. Um, 
Sovereign is still good. I probably need a land. Loran could get rid of Soetic Cliff. That would be pretty nice. We're just on Team Chump right now. We're just going to have to chump this Oetic Glyph forever. Maybe we could even, like, shove a Ginger Root in front of it and, like, discard or uh, sacrifice. Gain some life. Invasion of Segovia. Okay, Slay. I really like their deck. It's really cool. Siren... Mm, no, I'm good. The deuce. Okay. Now it's time to be a little bit careful. Um, it's got to be Loran and it's got to be Remove. The map tokens are also scary as shit. Um, a friend of Sewetic Glyph is a friend of mine. Very true. Nah, you know what? Like, I kind of have to hold back here. Like, there's a lot of scary potential into the the Segovia trample stuff. Um, in combination with map tokens, but their flow, they're hitting the flow of knowledge, so I don't know. Bessie's like milling themselves at this point. <laughs> Holy shit. If this is a prof's memory, I cry. Okay, it wasn't. RNG bless. I kind of want to get like another trigger on the laser shredder so it could it could chump the glyph for a while. I feel like they should have popped their maps before going to combat, but I don't know. All right, at least we're out of like the danger zone of one life right now. Thank God, it helps. <laughs> A new Proft memory. Okay, I'll replay it. I will try. Is this eyes out? It do be eyes out. All right, you could try search engine, get the trigger, discard that. Search engine. Um, hmm. It's got to be like growing the Steam Core Scholars because it's got vigilance, so it has to be like the way out for now. All right, so how much mana do I have available? Uh, oh my fucking god. <laughs> Another flow of knowledge, dude. Like, what the hell? How many cards have they drawn? There's no way they don't hit the profs right now. There's no way. Dude, what the fuck? Nah. That was a little... That was a little deranged. <laughs> Holy shit. They're gonna like get like plus 10 on this prof or something? Bruh. <laughs> plus 9? What the fuck? Hell no. Hell no. Alright, friends. We gotta find a way out here. What could it be? To be fair, they kind of ate. 
Um, all right. So if I put this in front of this, we take three. I, I think I know the way out. If there is a way out. But this seems more, most realistic. So if I block the 10, 10, I'll take three from that. Stay alive. I chomp the glyph. And then I'm going to work with Loran and the search engines. And maybe the search engine can win us the game. We just have to work with an unblockable strategy here, I think. I'm fucking scared, though. Cryptico, no. The little engine that could, but can the little engine get, to get it done? So that's just one piece of... Fuck, that's not gonna do it, because I need to spend two mana to make these unblockable. Um, and then I spend three on one of them to put it to five. So I swing in for eight. I swing in for nine. Shit, if we just had a little bit more card draw, we would have had it. We have nine damage here. Like if Lauren gave us like a consider or, you know, something along those lines or like a faithful mending would have been huge. We would have done it. Because this doesn't cut it. I can do like... <sighs> nah. There's also no value in like hitting your own creature would get lost. Damn, dude. I'm gonna play code, see if Faithful Mending was on top. <laughs> I just need to know. I mean, thing is, like, I could try to be alive, but it's also, like, I could get lost this thing, but then, nah. You also, like, don't have any flyers left. Alright. You know what? I'm not mad. Like, they hit, like, the triple, like, flow of knowledge. Like, that's just deranged. <laughs> like, that's just crazy. I get the most joy when it comes to Commander from just like playing pre-cons. I feel like it's always uh, something fun about it, you know? There's no like, you know, people crying about how you're playing something that's not the right power level. Sometimes there's cards in there that are so bad, you like laugh about it. Sometimes they're capable of doing really, really great stuff. I always enjoy playing them. Yeah. Like, I just love the pre-cons in general. I just think they're great. Hmm. I'm glad you're all pre-con because they're really, really mid but has fun multiplayer stuff. Yeah, I think they're just very nice in general. Like... Okay, 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 okay. I think I'm gonna start with like Shredder and I'm gonna do another memory and there's drawing a bunch of cards. Life is great, life is good. We win these races. Um, shit, I'm getting rid of that land though. Or I'm getting rid of that cryptic coat, probably. Keep that one. Uh, give ourselves a plus three. Swing for six. We're chilling. All right. Yeah, my favorite precon is um oh another. My favorite precon is definitely like I like love the Angie Falcon Wrath one, which is the uh madness. Hey, let's go. Why is that called Hearthstone? Because we're playing unblockable creatures. 